Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, we've been putting together this sort of product sales page. It's a bit of a sales funnel. It sort of leads people down the page to the bottom where they've got a price list of the various options and they can actually buy the product there. So we've put in our little hero section here. Today let's add some buttons and make them scroll from section to section. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. Now we've got a button on the slider or the slider here. We'll use that as one and we need to make one for this section. We'll call this the info section and we'll call this the hero section and we'll put one here that takes them from there to whatever the section is we do below. Now to start off we need to give our section some CSS IDs. So you've got three tabs here, you've got a dark one for a module, green one for a row and a blue one for a section. This will work on sections, modules or row but I want it to scroll to a section so I'm going to go into the section. I'm going to go to advanced CSS IDs and classes. We're going to use an ID for this, which is what you always use if you want to scroll to something. I'm just going to call this one Hero. Let's go up to our next section. I'll call this one Stats. Advanced CSS ID and classes. Stats. That's great. Okay, and now to demonstrate how this is actually going to work. Let's go into our slider and I'll, rec I'll direct this button to scroll down to the stats section. So let's go into our module, our slider module here. Here are our two slides. Let's go into the first one. There's the button but we want the URL for the button. So the link, button link. And because it's a a CSS ID to scroll to it we need to have a hashtag before it and then the name of the CSS ID and it was stats wasn't it great and we'll do the same for the second one in fact let's make the second one go to um, the hero section below the one we call hero is button link URL for the second one again because it's a CSS ID we need to have a hashtag first and that was just called hero save everything we'll just demonstrate make sure this is going to work exit the visual builder okay now this link should take us down to a section below there we go fantastic and the one, the next link, this one should take us down to that hero section. There we go, fantastic. And that's the way it works, as simple as that. So let's now add some buttons. I want to add a button to this one to take it to this one. And I'm going to add a button to this one that eventually will take it to whatever we put below here. And again, really easy. So let's get started. Let's go down to where we want to work, which is this section right here and just under here I'm going to add a new row because I could put a button there but it, it's that's row split into two columns I want a single column for my button and inside I'm going to put a button right here and we need to put in what we want the button to say and the link which we know I want it to take it to the hero section so I'm going to put hashtag hero it wants to open in the same window obviously let's go over to our design now and actually design our button you can see it's actually put it in there if I move this over to the right hand side and I want my button to be purple just like our ones up here and when I hover over it I think I'll change it perhaps to a blue color so we're in the design Alignment, I want it to be in the middle. Text is fine, but I want to change it to a white color or a light color. But I think I'll do that within the actual button itself. So I'll 
in the button now I'm going to hit the use styles for button switch turn it to on or yes text size is absolutely fine text color I want to be white button background I want it to be purple but I also want the border to be purple now when I hover over this thing I want it to turn it blue so to set your hover effect just go over to the button background in the dark writing here when you hover over it these icons will appear simply click on the arrow select the hover state once you've got that highlighted put in the color you want the hover state to be and it's a good idea to do your border the same color but of course that's entirely up to you same thing hover over it hit the arrow to get the options up in the hover state we want it to be blue too fantastic now let's roll on down a little bit font everything's fine I mean I could capitalize it what's our button at the top no I think I'll leave it lower, lower case just to stay similar I do want to use a button icon I'm just gonna have a sort of down type arrow for the icon that's gonna do fine you can only see it when you hover over it but I'm gonna change that the icon color itself is fine as white but I'm gonna change that yes I want it on the right but I want it to show not just when you hover on it like this I want it to show it all the time great now I'm gonna add a bit of padding to the button to actually make it a little bit wider so let's close off our button and go down to spacing here's a padding top and bottom is fine I just want to make it wider so I'm going to get 50 on the left I could give it 50 on the right or hit the chain but I don't think that'll be enough now I've got an icon in there I kind of like to offset it so that the icon space is part of the text so I want more gap this side Let's just give it an extra six an extra 10 make it 60 I think that's going to work for me so that's great Let's save our changes now what I want to do now I want to save this to my library so I can just put it wherever I want to put it because uh, I'm going to be putting buttons in different sections throughout this site so it's an idea to just copy it and I can just use it over and over again so I'm gonna hit this little icon here the circle I'm going to save it to my library I'm just going to call it button or button purple whatever you want to call it buttons fine don't want to make it global because I'm going to have different text and probably different links in each one if you make it global once you change it on one it'll change it on all of them so I'm just going to hit the save to library we're good to go so while we're in the builder may as well put our button here so again I'm just going to add a new module this time I'm going to add it from the library add from library there's our button we just saved and there it is right there that's fantastic but I, I want it colors all right I think I, I thought I might reverse it to the blue but the colors fine so the only thing I want to do is change the link because we don't want it linking to this section so I'm just going to leave a hashtag in there which will go back at the top but we'll still see the button with a link in there and I'm going to have it say full story because the next bit below is going to be a bit of a hero section but it's going to be split split hero and sort of image section so I'm going to say full story there we are we've successfully added our button let's save our changes and make sure the previous button is going to work once saved exit the visual builder and let's go down and let's make sure this button is going to take us to the hero section below fantastic now this one will just take us back up to the top because it's just got a hashtag in there until we do the next section so there we go there's how to add buttons to scroll to various different sections to your site and also how to save them and reuse them so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have 
a great day.